Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're still on Doc Swenson's, but this one is the triple cast cask, alter ego, straight bourbon finished in sherry and cognac casks. So this is another MGP product that they are then finishing at Doc Swenson and uh, this one, we're just going to read the back to you for shits and giggles. Inspired by the old world techniques of Scottish whiskey distillers, Doc Swinson's Alter Ego Bourbon is finished using Oloroso Sherry, Pedro Jimenez Sherry, and Cognac Casts. These casts are allow, allow the delicate characteristics of past occupants to mingle and marry with the smooth yet bold aspects of Doc Straight Bourbon. Each release is then meticulously blended and rested in X cognac. F I don't know how to say this word. F O E D E R S. Foders? Prior to bottling. I'll have to look that one up. I don't know what that means. It's probably another kind of barrel. Whatever. So they're taking MGP, finishing it in Oloroso Sherry and Pedro Jimenez Sherry and cognac and then blending it and then putting it into ex cognac photos for then i'll say how long prior to bottling and then bottling it so sherry sherry cognac then everything in cognac and then bottling let's see I like sherry finishes. I like cognac finishes. This should be right up my alley. This theoretically should be a bourbon that I love because of all the things in my personal palate. Let's find out. Punch me in the face. What the hell? That smells so damn good. 47.9% alcohol, 95.8 pr proof. Of course, they're super transparent um, with the formula number, the release number, bottle number, and the DSP number, whatever the hell that means. I don't know what that DSP is. The rye has that on it as well. I don't, I don't know what that means. Super dark, really dark, dark fruits, plum, like stewed or what is that? There's some fig, there's some dates, there's, there's dark fruit, but it's like candied or like sauteed, like stewed dark fruits. There's a, a, a hint of waxy nuttiness. <sighs> what is that? Oh my gosh. The, seriously, the cognac, I can totally smell. It, it's so funny. As I've told you guys before, I see flavors. Like I, I, can, I visualize the notes that I'm smelling and and I can see the cognac and I can see the sherry and there's this dark velvety it's not chocolate it's not bready it's not what is that it's like a it's like half notes of all those different things mixed together. It, it's it's so weird. On the nose, this is wonderful. This is this is a sit for an hour and smell it and and try to tease out every little nuance and every little detail. There's just so much going on there. Holy smoke. You know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of some of the really funky finished barrel products. 
Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to taste it. Oh. That's not fair. What is that? The waxy nuttiness has morphed almost into a creamy peanut butter. That's not, that's not fair. There's so much going on on that palate. Honey. Uh, sea salt taffy, salt water taffy, excuse me. There's, there's like butter. There's dark fruit. There's a, a almost breadiness, almost chocolate, almost caramel, a hint of cherry. Good grief. That's got too much going on. The nose is spicier after you taste it and richer and That's so funny. Wow. Honestly, that's really good. That's really interesting. Oh my. Wow. I'm going to have to compare this to Joseph Magnus and, and some of my um, rabbit hole and some of my. Um, what the hell's that one? Something else that I have over there that's, that's cognac finished and sherry finished. Wow. That's honestly amazing. That is really interesting. I only wish, I only wish that it was higher proof. If this was cast strength, this would be a world class bourbon. If it was cast strength. Man, I, would, I wish I could try this at cast strength. I, I just, I can't even imagine what this would taste like. That's left me pretty much speechless. Uh, that's a, a surprising whiskey. A surprisingly good. Even at the lower proof, huge flavors, huge robust nosing experience, and a huge robust tasting experience. MGP, killing it. And then throwing a finish on it. Good job, Doc Swenson. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.